welcome back so up till now we have discussed how the mass the energy and the entropy of a control volume change with time and we had derived equations for the same so so though we will consider situations where the mass energy and the entropy of the control volume do change with time many of the problems that we will tackle at least for this course involve what is known as steady state which means that the states of the control volume do not change and the flow rates are constant that means i can write that m dot i and m dot e are constant similarly we can also write that the heat transfer rate is not just a constant over delta t but over the whole length of the process similarly w dot s is constant over the whole length of the process and we write this as following and we, we can write that the mass in the control volume uh, does not change with time the energy in the control volume does not change with time similarly the entropy doesn't change with time so this is what is known as steady state situation and most of our uh, analysis regarding turbines nozzles compressors heat exchangers boilers and all other systems that we normally consider in mechanical engineering we will be considering a steady state analysis there do occur uh, situations where we will not encounter steady state which are known as transient situations of course those are going to be few as far as this course is concerned so what happens when we have a steady state you will realize that the left hand side of all the three equations have been put to zero as far as the mass energy and entropy were concerned so what do we get once we get this so we can write the mass conservation equation as follows because this is zero it implies that the incoming mass flow rate is equal to the outgoing mass flow rate so for the first law uh, similarly we have d e c v by d t is zero what we will do is we will transpose q dot and w dot s in the equation to the left side and write it as follows that is q dot minus w dot s is equal to m dot notice that i am writing only m dot this is because the mass flow rate coming in is the same as mass flow rate going out and i could have just written this here as m dot so i will not put a subscript i or e i will write it as m dot h e plus v square by 2 plus g z e minus m dot h i plus v i square by 2 plus g z i and often one combines these terms and writes as follows so we have just combined the terms and this you can see we could have as well written as delta h where delta h represents h at the exit minus h at the inlet similarly we could have written this as delta e k that is the change in the kinetic energy at the exit and inlet that is the difference between the kinetic energies at the exit and inlet and this one we can write as delta e p that is the change in the potential energy and we could have a very simple equation like this and depending on the situation some of these would be important some of these would not be important and finally for the second law we can write that the entropy change with time for the control volume is zero and hence we can write the equation as follows so we have just transposed m dot se minus si on the left side and we have used only one expression for m dot and this is the equation a very simple equation that we get once we have assumed that s does s of the control volume does not change with time so these are the sets of equations we will be using often during our analysis now and please have a look at these equations again because we will use them reasonably for problem solving thank you